guys, it's Regan and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. I'm actually starting this at a bit of an unusual time because it is the morning before work. A very gloomy morning before work. I wanted to start now because I'm actually meeting up with Clay directly after work to go to a hockey game with some friends. I know, fun Friday night activities. But I wanted to be sure to show you guys like what I wanted to read for the weekend before that time because I do have to kill some time actually between when I meet Clay, which I'll definitely fill with reading, commuting this morning, etc. So I wanted to walk you through all of the books I hope to read this weekend. It is the tail end of the month so I'm trying to get some like good good reading in before um, the end of the month is here. So let's talk about the books. So this is my stack of books. I'm actually exactly halfway through both of these. Um, the first one is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I would continuously incorrectly say I've read before but I haven't read at all. Um, it so far is incredible. I'm halfway through. This is my commute book. I'm loving it so much. It's such an interesting fantasy novel that's kind of centered around like the world continuously ending and people's abilities to control the earth like through earthquakes. It's very good. So, so, so dark, but I'm loving it a lot. Um, next up is The Priory of the Orange Tree, which I took a bit of a break from. I started it at the beginning of the month, but I've picked it back up again. And again, I'm like exactly halfway through it. So I want to try to finish this or get a big chunk of the way through this this weekend. Um, definitely finish this and try to finish this. So those are kind of my reading plans. So some big epic fantasy and just trying to power through two amazing fantasy novels. The funny thing is, I'll flip you around. The funny thing is the weather is supposed to be incredible this weekend. So I also feel like I'm going to have this urge to want to go outside, which if Matilda can attest is not usually something I ever want to do. But I might because it will be like the first beautiful spring day. Oh, hi, Millie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are what I plan to read. I'm mostly gonna be reading the fifth season because I have it on ebook uh, today and tonight. But when I get back, I'll probably pick up Priory. But anyway, so those are my reading plans for the weekend. I'm so excited and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye. Hey, yo, it's hockey time. Go hockey. And we're back home from the hockey game, which was a lot of fun, right, Clay? It was a lot of fun. We don't know anything about hockey. Nothing about hockey. Like, literally nothing at all, but luckily, hockey's the kind of sport where you just kind of, like, watch and cheer along with everyone. It's like soccer on ice with football. It's like figure skating. And, and figure skating. <laughs> it's it glamorous. Fun. Yeah, it's like, it's also, it's just, like, so fast-paced. You're just like... Whoa, whoa, whoa and then people like try to fight. It's It has literally, all, the best elements are pretty much all the sports, yeah. to be honest. And I don't know anything about it. I realized a dichotomy about myself today. Oh yeah? I don't like boxing. But, but I like. <laughs> I, but I, the only thing I want to see in hockey is a fight. I'm like, yes! <laughs> I'm like, out for blood. Anyway, um, so we are home now. We're gonna watch Full Metal Office Brotherhood, but I actually had a reading update. As I kind of said this morning before I left, I had planned um, and I knew I was gonna get reading in before the game, which I really was able to. Uh, I've been reading the fifth season all throughout today. I started today at around page 200 and, uh, and now I'm on page 320. So I read 120 pages of the fifth season today. I haven't really given like a clear synopsis, so I'm going to do that now. Sorry, Clay, before we watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I have to say, this book is absolutely incredible. It's fascinating, riveting, unlike anything I feel like I've really encountered ever like there's just something about the storytelling it's so mysterious and super dark and compelling and just unique i've said a lot of adjectives but so you describe it as rosy what because it's riveting rosie the riveter that was so terrible <laughs> this book is set in the world called the stillness which is incredibly ironic because this land and all the people living on the land are no stranger to catastrophe basically there is incredibly active fault lines volcanoes and things like that which ends the world and civilization basically over and over again and the survivors basically pick back up and rebuild and because of this uh, a lot of like learnings have been passed on through something called the stone lore. People like obviously don't settle around fault lines and things like that. But while the world is also very active, there are groups of people uh, that can actually harness the earth's power. But instead of being like cherished, they're not just ostracized, they're like people are fearful of them and they're directly controlled by people. Um, and there's like really screwed up 
but very fascinating system. Um, and we follow like multiple perspectives of this book and everyone can utilize this power and they're basically at like very different places in the world in the political system but ultimately they're all being like very oppressed and they're all kind of like indirectly following the same mystery which I don't, couldn't even tell you really what it is I only have 100 pages left but like it's such a wild world and it's just so interesting and I can't stop reading I am obsessed with it basically it's like about earthquakes basically there's just earthquakes but anyway hopefully that was mildly articulate but uh guys it's just so good it's so good but now we're gonna watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and then I'll probably do also a bit more reading I only have 100 pages left of this book things are really picking up it's a trilogy so Definitely think you're going to be seeing all of these books in this trilogy and lots of upcoming reading vlogs. But now, Full Metal Alchemist, right, Clay? Right. Are you going to read this weekend, Clay? Yeah, I'm going to read. Going to read 57 pages. Wow. Holding you to that. We have a new opening. It's not as good as the first one, but it's a pretty good. Nothing will ever beat the first one. That one is the best opening ever. This is still a pretty good head banger. Good morning everyone. It has definitely been a slow and lazy morning so far. I slept in till like after nine. Um, pretty much fell asleep immediately last night after watching like one episode of Full Metal Alchemist. So I got an excessive amount of sleep. Now I'm awake and now I'm actually gonna read some of the fifth season because I wasn't actually able to read any of this before I immediately fell asleep last night and I'm loving this book so much. It's like I'm very much near the end. I only have about a hundred or so pages yet, so things are really starting to pick up. It's absolutely fascinating, just like the whole structure of like Earth and that being the magic. So the Earth being like the ultimate enemy and like all these strange politics and like how it's written, you're kind of discovering things as characters are. Like there's really no moment of info dumping. So you kind of feel lost, but in a way that's really entertaining. So I'm going to read some of this and then I do have to get ready because Clay and I have brunch plans today in another neighborhood and we were going to try to take the ferry because the G's down but I don't think there's a ferry that matches our time schedule. I don't know. New York public transit when it's not working can be a real mess um, but we are excited to get brunch. It's going to be beautiful outside today like 60 degrees and partly cloudy so definitely want to get some out time outside time in but right now i am going to read the gang's all here clay's playing madden and i have been doing some really good reading i have to stop now because i need to get ready for brunch but i wanted to give you a quick update so i just passed the page uh 375 so i was able to read 55 pages yes 55 pages just now which is really great this book is so interesting it's definitely very adult which i want to flag like it deals with very dark topics of abuse um like mentally emotionally physically and things like that it's also just like has more adult themes just generally so i definitely wanted to let you guys know this is not ya at all in any capacity but um it's very very good i don't have very much left i think this book is only like 400 and um like 40 pages so i have 457 like 75 pages left so i should be able to finish this easy today as i've been flying through it and i've already read almost 200 pages for the weekend which is incredibly exciting only five pages away from the 200 page mark so definitely will be able to finish this book today we'll definitely read over 200 pages today and then i'm going to work on prior of the orange tree which i don't know if i'll be able to finish but i'm hoping i can read at least like 300 400 pages of that and almost finish it before the end of the weekend so i do have to get ready now for the day so I'm going to do that and enjoy this beautiful day outside, um, but I'll check in. I have made a coffee. I put Vanderpump Rules on. Clay and I are getting ready to go to brunch. We're having a very New York-y Saturday. Hi, everyone. We are on our way out. I wanted to quickly show you my outfit because it's a little springy. I have a little polka dot shirt on. I always wear t-shirts underneath things so I don't get sunburned. Jeans, shoes, and a denim jacket. It's denim jacket weather. Show mine. Oh yeah, Clay's wearing his Texas sweatshirt. Yeah. It's from the University of Texas. These are blue jeans. Uh huh. You can tell by the blue in the jeans. Yeah. These are white shoes. Also can tell by the white in the shoes. Yeah, 
They're your new sneakers though. They are new. Big fan, aren't you? Yeah. We have twin shoes actually. He liked mine so much, he got he got the boy version. It's looking great, Clay. Cheating on Matilda with this little cutie, he's running away from me. Come here, Atticus. Say hello. Hey Atticus, can you give him a nut? Hello. <laughs> oh hi. Oh yes, this is the type of content everyone wants. <laughs> Such a cute. Here? Not a bad view of the Manhattan skyline. Got the Empire State. You got the villages. You got downtown. Shout out to Williamsburg, I suppose. Ooh! Eggs, fried chicken, burrito, french fries. Delicious. Hi everyone, we are back home, obviously, from our day of exploring Williamsburg. Clay is asleep. <laughs> and I am going to sit here and try to finish the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. As I said, I think I only have about 70-ish pages left, so I really feel like I should be able to finish this before dinner and other activities. Um, the weather in New York is so nice today, so I feel like we're really trying to do like a bit of everything and anything. I am pooped. I am so tired, but I'm trying to be a trooper because tomorrow we're not gonna do anything at all besides play Mario Party and I'm gonna read. So I figured, you know, I gotta enjoy the weather before it, because it will get cold again. It's gonna be cold tomorrow, so I just have to have to embrace the sunny day. But right now I am gonna read though. And if I'm able to finish this, I'll have almost 300 pages read for the weekend, which is great. So I'm going to get started. Quick update, Matilda took Clay's spot, and I have read 40 pages, and I am close to the end game. In fact, something kind of mind-blowing was revealed. N.K. Jemisin is a tricky lady. And I, should, I maybe should have put it together, but I did not. And it just absolutely blew my mind what just kind of happened. And it's such a smart writing device. Wow. Love it. She's great. Okay, I need to finish this book, but I did want to check in. I have about 40 pages left. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Back with another update because I have to actually get ready because Clay and I are going out for dinner, which is exciting. We're getting Italian food. But I wanted to say... Finished the fifth season and it was incredible. I am gonna be binge reading the rest of the two books in this trilogy. It's amazing. Unlike anything I've really read before, at least recently. Loved its use of Earth. I mean, obviously people in the magic system in this world kind of centered around the ability to control Earth, but Earth in itself is like a main character of this story. Its ability to uh, destroy everything around it is um, not only important, but like an ever-present um, fear of every character, but just like it's a constant looming threat like Mother Earth or the Earth itself the planet is like a main character And I just thought it was like a really interesting component to the story um, Obviously I don't want to get into spoilers, but I just felt like N.K. Jemisin's ability to write the, the characters that we encounter and Everything and how she kind of uncovers and delivers information about this world to you is so fascinating And everything kind of comes together. You know what I mean? Like you're confused you're like gathering pieces of information throughout the story. You're like Obviously very intrigued um, But ultimately you kind of get to a point where you're like, oh That's what's going on and it just kind of hits you kind of like an earthquake boom <laughs> It was just amazing and I loved every second of it five out of five stars for sure i definitely need to get ready now i'll talk about it maybe in more detail post dinner but i need to get ready because clay's ready i'm not ready i have been drinking coffee and uh watching youtube videos so i, I need to get my life together because our reservations in like 15 minutes um um yeah and hopefully with more time i'll be able to more articulately describe this book and my feelings about it because i feel like i have just been word vomiting but it's just so great. Ooh, carpaccio. Pasta cam. Pizza cam. Carb cam. Hi everyone. Good morning. Clay is still asleep, but I have been up and at him. I took a shower. I've been relaxing on the couch. But I wanted to come in and check in to talk more about the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin because I didn't really feel like I was able to give it justice yesterday because I was in such a rush to get dinner, which by the way, dinner was super tasty and then we didn't end up vlogging anymore because we met up with some friends, etc., etc. But guys, okay, so I read um, the last 250 pages of this this weekend. So I've read 250 pages so far, which I'm really happy with. I'm going to be switching over to Prior of the Orange Tree basically after this clip, but I love this book so much. I feel like I've touched on the magic and the world already, which is great. But 
finishing it and kind of reflecting on it. I just feel like N.K. Jemisin did so many interesting things like outside of the fantasy aspect. The plot devices are incredibly clever, but she really touches on a lot of like identity issues from like sexuality to race to language to concepts of motherhood to growing up to identity like all of these things I feel like she captures in a way that I just feel like I've never really encountered in a fantasy book before and was just so good. The mystery of this series is also just like so strong. I feel like she is the queen of foreshadowing in a way like she just drops hints but you don't at least I feel like I didn't catch them until I, I basically had to like run smack into them. I was like, oh, that's what she meant. Oh, that's what was going on the whole time. Um, that being said, I feel like I have so many unanswered questions that hopefully will be answered in books two and three. I'm very obsessed with this series, so I'm going to be buying those to have on hand to read soon, if not Huh, excuse me, immediately. Yeah, I can definitively say I loved that book so much. Really happy that I've already read 250 pages. I am planning on doing a lot of reading today slash relaxing. Clay and I had like a very busy Friday and Saturday with the hockey game. We also like hung out in Williamsburg all day with the nice weather. Um, it's currently like rainy outside, so it's a perfect day to do nothing, which was the plan all along. I love a good relaxing Sunday. Um, yeah, so I am gonna probably make some coffee right now and then pick up the uh, Priory of the Orange Tree, which is also like in a very good spot right now. It's about halfway through and I really feel like threads are starting to pick up and like come together in super interesting ways. So I don't know guys, I just love fantasy. What can I say? It's all I can read, but yeah. This took me by such surprise. Like, wow, wow, oh, wow. Clay went to go grab us some bagels. I am gonna put on Survivor because it's my favorite show. Well, one of Survivor and the Challenge, my favorite shows. So it's, it's a good Sunday morning so far. Look at these two lounging on this very gloomy Sunday. Oh, Millie, are you just living your? Hi friends, so I have gotten dressed for the day. It's super gloomy outside. It's honestly the best Sunday ever. And while I'm being productive and gonna film, Matilda and Clay are taking a nap, which is totally fine. But yeah, it's really hard not to just wanna like sit on the couch all day um, and just hang out because of the weather. I mean, I'm planning on it after I get my filming in, obviously and doing a bit of cleaning. Uh, but yeah, time to get started. I want everyone to know that when you watch my TBR wrap up video, these two were literally sleeping directly next to me. I finished though, so I'm going to edit now. Um, real talk about filming, especially when you're extra lazy, is you just kind of change your shirt, but I'm still wearing sweatpants. So I'm gonna edit and then I'm gonna read some Priory and wake up Clay and we're probably gonna watch some Netflix. Literally having the chillest day ever because again, gloomy outside. No reason to leave the apartment is my perspective. We'll probably do some picking up too because I feel like we have just like things we kind of just like thrown off <laughs> Look at Matilda. Uh, around the apartment. So when I do some cleaning as well before the work week starts. Finished editing, so I'm gonna upload this video. I made the bed and uh, Clay's playing Madden. He's awake now and I'm gonna read after I finish uploading this video. I have been reading I've picked up Priory. I've read about 30 pages since sitting down. Clay and Millie have just been winning Super Bowls together. Millie's better than Clay, though, I'd say. Wouldn't you say, Clay? Mm -hmm. She's really good. Millie is really embracing this Sunday, though, I'll say. <laughs> she's being, like, extra sluggish today. She's getting the Sunday scaries. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to go back yeah. to napping. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go back to reading and then we're gonna watch some, oh, hi, Millie, some Full Metal Alchemist. Vanderpump Rules and coffee. Honestly, it's a pretty great Sunday so far. Hi, friends. Quick reading update before Clay and I watch some Full Metal Alchemist for a couple of hours. I've read 75 pages of Prior of the Orange Tree so far today. I'm liking it so much. That also means I've surpassed the 300 page mark which is great. Um, so I should be well on my way to hit at least 500 pages or so um, for the weekend, which is awesome. I also wanted to quickly kind of go over Priory since the last time I featured it in a reading vlog. I think I only got about like 200 
and 50 pages of the way through, but now I am past the 500 page mark. So I feel like I have quite a few new updates to say. Most of them are just, I'm loving it so much. I feel like it's getting, getting better and better and things are starting to kind of heat up. And I also am really liking how characters that were kind of in silos at the beginning of the story are starting to cross paths in really unlikely ways. I also just think like the lore of this world and like the origin story to uh, that was ultimately branched out into like many different religions is super fascinating and being able to like learn more about it and get more insights on it and the story itself is super cool. The story also has elements of magic and alchemy which, and I really like the contrast between those two things. Obviously alchemy is more like science based and academic based. Hi Millie. And then magic obviously is like magic and sorcery. Um, as well as there's some really like blossoming relationships that are just so good. Uh, and I just, I just can't, I can't put it down. I cannot put it down. So I'm really excited to keep reading this. I hopefully, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it today. I think that's unrealistic because that's another 300 pages, but I'm hopefully gonna get another good chunk of the way through and then finish it early this week. So that's the plan. Clay and I have decided to break our not leaving the apartment street for today and go get ice cream because the sun came out. I'll show you. It's sunny now, so we thought, you know, right Clay? Very exciting. We're like, let's get some ice cream. Let's get it. <laughs> let's get that bread. <laughs> Millie, what is going on over here, girlfriend? What is happening? <laughs> We got our ice cream. I got honeycomb. Clay got honeycomb and caramel. Oh, uh, so good. Van Leeuwen's for the win. We are back from our ice cream adventure actually a while ago and I picked up new flowers on the way home and Clay and I, uh, we're gonna watch Home in a Lockmas Brotherhood but we've fallen in a bit of a TV hole, rabbit hole. So Clay and I both really like Vanderpump Rules but we never really watched the earlier seasons and they're all on Hulu. And we've seen one episode, and what what's the verdict so far, Clay? They were actually more real people back then. I know, but it's like the consequences of like, but also like, like what they're doing is bonkers. And you can also tell they like now they're rich. Yeah, they're actually working. <gasps> Pause while we finish doing our house chores. We've been doing a lot of laundry. Look at Millie. Matilda's love for this blanket is ceaseless. It's the love for me. The blanket is just extra. It's just extra. Though I'll say though, Clay, since we've gotten this, normally she's an under the blankets kind of dog. She loves sleeping on top of this blanket. They also kind of match. But in all seriousness, Clay has to do some work, so we decided to pause the Vanderpump. I am gonna get some more reading in because I haven't really read enough so far this Sunday. So excited to read more of this because it's so good guys i would say like definitely a bit of a slow burner in the beginning took me maybe about 50 pages to get into it but since then i am just so invested so invested with all the different character arcs and so is matilda she's a big fan dinner has arrived they got a burger we got terrible fries so many fries and i got the saddest 16 dollar salad of my life it is so tiny new york is wild man I will literally give you a handful of letters for $16. She's my chicken nugget. Millie. Party time. So, Clay's finished working. We finished dinner. And I ate my $16 tiny salad. Yeah. Shame on them. That was... I was like, this is New York. Um, while Clay was working, I was able to get some reading in. I read another 60 pages, so that means I've read a total of math. 5 plus 60 is 135? Yeah. So I've read a total of 135 pages of, um, Priority of the Orange Tree, which, which means I am on track to read 500 pages tonight. Um, we will probably take a bit of a break. I know Clay wants to get some reading in tonight too, isn't that right, Clay? Mm, I haven't so, gotten any in. Yeah, so we'll definitely read later tonight, but we might finally watch non-reality TV. Maybe some Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Before we decide on that, I do want to give a quick reading update. Priory is so good. I just feel like Samantha Shannon is like keeping me obsessed, and like I just feel like there's these, like 
mysteries that are kind of like scattered throughout the book but they're kind of like encroaching on each other and it's just delicious and it's so good i also like love learning about like the origin of the world and the magic and everything and every time like a new piece of information is dropped it like leads to larger questions of all the different characters it's just really great it also just kind of feels like a straight classic fantasy story like it feels kind of like an epic like a story told around a fire in a way and i just really like the style of the writing and how everything's told it just feels very grandiose um and i could just see it being like a really cool movie or something but yeah i'm a huge fan of it so happy that i'm um making progress i'm almost done and like i can definitely i feel a little sad as I encroach the end and you kind of also know like as things begin to kind of unfurl obviously this is the first book to a series so I imagine it's going to end on quite the bang which is going to be terrible because I'm going to have to wait a whole year or longer for the next one to come out which is just tragic um but yeah it's just it's just things are really starting to come together and it just feels so good to love a book so much so definitely going to read more of that tonight uh, but right now, Clay and I need to figure out what we want to watch next. What do you want to watch, Clay? Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist? Is that what you want to watch? We've mm -hmm. only watched two episodes this weekend. Yeah, we have not watched very like, much. Like, we've barely watched any. Okay. Works for me. Works for me. About to start. What episode are we on, Clay? Season four. Episode four? Three, six, nine. So we're on like 43 or something? Things are starting to heat up. Well, Metal Alchemist is really heating up when you say Clay. Mm -hmm. It's getting so good. We're definitely moving into the end game part of the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like things are moving happening. Moving quickly. Yeah. Though, while I hate to interrupt that programming, it is time for me to read. Um, I'm on page like 620 and I'm gonna try to get to page a little over 600 pages so I can have the 500 page mark. So good. So I'm going to get reading in and I will do a check in. So, doodles. Hey guys, I've just read 40 more pages, just like what I said about Fulmal Alchemist. Priory is getting to the end game. We're getting closer to that end game. Obviously, I still have like 200 pages left, so things are still continuing to unfurl, but like, just so good. <sighs> And I'm just waiting for like everything to kind of come together, but I also know it's only the beginning. I'm not sure how long this series is gonna be, if it's a trilogy or a series or what, but like obviously there's just gonna be more and more to come. In some ways it kind of has, I mean, it's nothing like Full Metal Alchemist, maybe because there's just an alchemist in this book and I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist at the same time. But weirdly, in some ways I like, think about the two of them in parallel which is probably incorrect and probably just my sleepy brain talking now but <sighs> okay no more rambling I'm gonna get back to reading this hunk of a book um and I will check in with you but I think I'm only like 10 pages away from 500 pages so I take that as a success for the weekend so if anything that's great um all right back to reading Hi everyone and welcome to the end of the vlog the next day per usual and I have to say I had such a great weekend I felt like I did a lot of activities hung out with some friends but I also got lots of good reading in on two amazing books so without further ado let's chat about what I read so the first book I was able to complete and that was the fifth season by NK Jemisin I read the last 249 pages of this book this weekend and loved every single second of it quickly has become my new favorite series i bought the sequel i read it on the commute on the train this morning i love it so much it's a multi-perspective uh fantasy book uh, that's set in a world that constantly ends and civilization has to constantly rebuild which obviously has stunted it in some ways and also has made it evolve in others also the magic quote unquote magic in this world centers around being able to harness the earth's power it's so good very very dark but absolutely like unputdownable i loved it so i gave this five out of five stars i feel like i'm talking so fast but yeah it's the first book i read this weekend the last book i read and completed for the month of march can't believe it's already april it's so beautiful outside it's amazing um and then from there whew, 
heavy guy. I picked up Priory of the Orange Tree and read like 253 pages or something random like that. So I was able to read over 500 pages this weekend, which is really exciting. I'm really liking Priory a lot. It's definitely kind of a slow burn. One thing I will say, which might be my first criticism, is it's multi-perspective and set in different lands. My favorite perspectives are the ones set in the east, but that's like only like 30% of the perspectives. Like it's predominantly written from the, the west characters, whom I like and I like the romance and everything like that, but I'm much more like attached and like really drawn to the eastern storylines. I just think they're much more mysterious and I really like kind of the style and the characters over there. It's where the alchemist is, etc. But you know. It's not really something I can really complain about, but I am liking it a lot and I plan on hopefully finishing it this week or early into the next weekend um, as I have like 150 pages left, which is not a lot, but you never know how the work week will shake out. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Uh, I'm excited to finish it. <laughs> I feel like I've been reading it for a long time, but it's really good. So definitely one I would recommend. But yeah, so that is everything I read this weekend. Over 500 pages, as I said, which I'm really happy about. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon with another one soon. Bye!